focusing on dry and liquid fertilizer with our with our strip tiller. I, I I like multiple forms of fertilizer. So with the dry, we're putting on uh, ESN urea, which is polymer encapsulated, going to withstand uh, with that physical barrier. We're going to withstand more uh, potentially lead nitrogen loss weather and conditions. So I like that. I'm protecting. I'm protecting that, and then we're also kind of doing what's typically called a two by two placement with liquid, with some phosphorus and nitrogen and sulfur, uh, with with the machine at the same time. It keeps our planter less busy that way uh, because we we are putting on one liquid product with our planter, but I want to keep it that way. Okay. Um, so it's kind of a triple relay thing we're doing with our uh, with our fertilizer. Uh, put using furrow jet from Precision Planning with the the planter to go three quarters of an inch into the sidewall of the furrow and then then the next thing the root sees uh, it gets to that at a young age the next thing it gets to is our stuff about two inches off the row put on by the soil warrior the two inches over two inches down or thereabouts uh, put on with the soil warrior that's got our phosphorus and uh, sulfur and so forth which is by the way the same concoction I'm using in the planter uh, roots find that next uh, and then they, the urea that we blend into the strip is just kind of omnipresent. I actually want a little bit to bounce out of the strip and feed the microbes between the strips also. Uh, and then we come back and Y drop the rest of our nitrogen. Okay. So there's not a, and we, we use almost exclusively now a potassium sulfate in the fall and no 1034 or no 1152O in the fall to keep our nitrogen all after planting for more efficiency and water quality reasons and so forth. Uh, so that's why we're doing our phosphorus in with our liquid in the spring and mostly just doing our potassium pH adjustment and some other micros in the in the fall with, uh, with our dry fertilizer. Uh, and like I say, the last amount of nitrogen we think we need, we'll put on as late as we can uh, using Y-drops and a high clearance sprayer.